to be honest. It's nice to see a lot of the fans out, um, a lot of the kids out, and um, you know, I hope they're happy to be out here. It's been a very long time. And you're nice and safe, sun smart there with your hat and everything. Yeah, for sure. I got the long, got the long sleeve on, um, the bucket hat, and yeah, just trying to. Cover up. <laughs> How's the season been going for you? It's been tough, man. It's been tough. Um, good old grind. And you think it couldn't get any harder, but it just does every year. So uh, yeah, we've been putting in a lot of work and looking forward to the break ahead. Has anyone that's been particularly impressive so far? Uh, actually, there's been a couple actually, a couple of the young young fellas coming through. Um, we've got Maxi there, who's on camp at the moment, and uh, also little Sua, who's coming through the Victoria system as well. Uh, some of the boys are out on ID camp at the moment, but you're not with them, you didn't decide to go and have another run? Definitely not. Um, I would have faked an injury. I will do anything not to go on there again. Um, it's so, even just thinking about it, it's bloody <laughs> gruelling, so good luck to them. Um, at least the weather's nice, nice enough for them today. Now, we've got a few players just here. Uh, Josh Adokar, for one. Training sessions are a little bit quieter now. They are. I miss having his, uh, his energy around um, and his laugh, obviously. And, um, you know, he will be sorely missed, but we've got some good uh, pickups over this off season and uh, we'll look, be looking to build that. I was going to say, it's your last pre-season too in Melbourne. Um, sort yeah. of a bit of a sweet moment? It is. I'll be happy to not be getting flogged as much, even though I probably will be getting flogged just as much up there. Um, but yeah, it's just bittersweet. Um, I'm leaving, but it um, hasn't really hit me yet. I was going to say, obviously, you're probably not going to miss, uh, you know, Bellamy, you know, oh, no. yeah. uh, what, what's the one thing you will miss here? Just the people. Um, we've got such good people at the club. Um, that's from top top to bottom to the to the guys coming through. Um, that's what makes it that much more enjoyable. Is just having good good people around, uh, making well, coming to training a lot girls, a lot funner, a lot race. easier. So the big um, white definitely the people. Christian Walsh, give him a round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen. I have been trying. So Brandon, that little rascal, missed out on him. Hoping to get Christian Walsh up there. And, uh, it's great to see, um, I'd love to wind and dine if I could. Um, a couple more of our players and maybe that little Harry Grant. Have a little stab at him. Now, well, she can't get away that early, but uh, talk to the uh, pre season so far. The yeah. Stormer right now for the tough pre seasons. Is this any different? Yeah, good man. It's been tough. This, this whole off season been very uh, turbulent, but we've seen uh, Tui back on deck today. It's really good to see him. Um, just to see him around. Um, he's in some some high spirits, and um, I don't know what, what's happening on too much with him. And Nelson's just another 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 one. Um, still got some issues to sort out there um, with all the vaccination stuff, and um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get him back next year. If anyone doesn't know, if you're new to the Melbourne Storm. Yeah. When you're 33 years of age, you're 18, you go on an army camp at, uh, just before Christmas break up. Well, mate, if they don't come back, or well, um, it just opens up that, that door and that, and that opportunity for, um, for young fellas or for guys who've been in and out of first grade to, you know, to take with both hands. So um, the next man will be ready. Um, it's just up to them uh, to step up. Yeah. Oh, mate, I reckon Jesse Bromwich is our um, is our captain and leader. Um, yeah, hands down. I, I wouldn't second guess that for sure. So I think Jesse Bromwich will be our, uh, our skipper. And, uh, I think we played you know, maybe two or three games at the start of 2021. Uh, but prior to that, so it must be feel very, very different the last couple of years. Put my hand up there, yeah, no, we'll see how we go. We've got to put in some work up there first and uh, just see what happens. Give him a little nudge here, yeah. <laughs> All good.